Our total rise measurement is 107 and a half inches. It's also important to check to make sure that the spot where our stairs will end is level with the spot where we've taken our measurement. If not, you'll have to adjust for the difference. Now I'm using the same thickness carpet upstairs as I am downstairs. So I know my 107 and a half inch measurement is a finished floor to finished floor distance. But finished floor materials are not the same on both floors all the time. For example, say we use three quarter inch flooring upstairs and this was a concrete slab downstairs, we'd have to add three quarters of an inch to our measurement. If we had three quarters of an inch oak downstairs and half inch finished flooring upstairs, we'd have to subtract a quarter of an inch from our measurement. Now let's do some calculations. I've written down our 107 and a half inch measurement here. I know that in a house with a nine foot measurement from floor to floor, we'll normally have 14 risers. You'll note on our model that I start with a riser and end with a riser. So if I have 14 risers, I'll have 13 treads. I've divided our 107 and a half inch measurement by the 14 risers and get 7.678 inches per rise, or 7 and 11 sixteenths. I know this is a comfortable rise as we should fall somewhere between 7 and 8 inches. A rule of thumb says that the rise plus the run should be between 17 and 18 inches. Our rise of 7 and 11 16 inches plus a run of 10 inches gives us a number which falls between those two. I've been talking about our rise and our run in terms of notches in this carriage. But if our risers are all the same thickness, our run of 10 inches should be the same when measured from the front of this riser to the front of this riser. In addition to this run of 10 inches, we have an overhang here called a nosing of an inch and an eighth, which is measured from the front of this riser to the edge of this tread. So our run of 10 inches plus a nosing of one and an eighth gives us a total tread width of 11 and an eighth inches. That's how I calculate for a typical straight run of stairs. You can use these calculations for a short flight or an even longer flight of stairs, long as we stay within a comfortable rise and run. There's more about that in the book. Now, let's lay out some carriages. Mm -hmm.